Also tonight, police keeping across the area a closer eye on the unusual rather than usual on Jewish houses of worship. This comes after the FBI cited credible information of a broad threat to synagogues in New Jersey. CBS 2's Tony Aiello live at a Jersey City synagogue with details and reaction. Tony. Well, Maurice, this FBI alert focused on New Jersey, but I can tell you police in Rockland County, Westchester County, and New York City also boosting patrols. The FBI saying the need for the extra vigilance is, quote, a proactive measure while an investigation is carried out. The Hudson County Sheriff joined Jersey City Police with visibility outside Temple Bethel on JFK Boulevard. It is reassuring to this neighbor. I feel secure. I really do. For everyone, not only this time of God, for everyone. We hope that nothing will happen. You feel safe? Yes, we feel safe. The unusual alert from the FBI Newark field office cited credible information of a broad threat to synagogues in New Jersey. Quote, we ask that you take all security precautions to protect your community and facility. Outside BMG Yeshiva, the largest in the U.S., Ocean County sheriffs and Lakewood police moved quickly to boost their presence. Stay alert, be vigilant, and never hesitate calling law enforcement if there's something that is concerning to you. We need people to see something, if they see something, to say something. These images from the United Synagogue of Hoboken show law enforcement is treating the broad threat seriously at a time of heightened concern about anti-Semitic words and actions. They're clearly serious threats and um, we're grateful that law enforcement is taking them seriously. So I think it's about really being diligent under and aware of the situation that we're in, the rise of anti-Semitism, but not allowing it for us to prevent us from practicing our religion. So again, tonight, the FBI is investigating this credible threat and promising to release more information at the appropriate time. The threat being taken seriously, especially here in Jersey City, where, uh, ant where domestic terrorists motivated by anti-Semitism killed a police officer and then murdered three people at a kosher market just three years ago. Reporting live, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Tony, thank you.